Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card drivers. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So select your graphic card from the list and then select the operating system. And then on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. Install, download the GeForce Game Ready driver. Click on view and then click on download. Once the download is complete, uh, you can run the exe file. Click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here. Click on next. Then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX12 or DX11 in the launch option. So make a right click. Make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX11 over here. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename or delete the config folder. Now when you rename or delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can open File Explorer, open this PC. Open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open the local folder. Now here you can see SHF folder, you can open this folder and then save folder. Over here you can see config folder. In my case, I have already renamed it. So in your case, you will see only config. So you can just rename this folder. And then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so for this you can make a right click on the game select properties and uh, so select manage and then click on browse local files and then open this shf folder binaries win64 make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work go to properties and this time you can go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working then go to properties once again and this time you can try windows 7 windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now go back you can do the same thing with this exe file make a right click click on run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so in my case i'm using windows security so if you're using windows security go to privacy and security windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allow app browse all apps select this exe file add it again browse all apps open this folder uh, sorry shf folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall Click on change settings, click on around the app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again. Open the game folder, do the same thing. Open SHF folder, binary is Win64. Select the CXE file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Again, click on around the app, click on browse and then select this EXE file, click on open, click on add. Again, added, browse, select this one, add. I have already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working try launching the game from nvidia app so if you have nvidia app installed in your computer you can launch nvidia app and then you can go to home and over here you will see the game click on play try to launch the game from here you can even go to settings and over here uh, select the game and if you see optimize option over here uh, like this if you see optimize in my case i don't see it but if you see this optimize option with silent hill f then you can optimize it if it is already optimized and you're facing you can 
you can revert the optimization and then you can uh, launch the game and then check you can close the nvidia app and then check next step is to clear direct x shader cache now for this you can type in disk cleanup in windows search box and click on disk cleanup now over here if you see this unchecked direct x shader make sure that you put a check over here and then click on ok and delete once done now go to nvidia control panel so go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option and go to nvidia control panel now go to global settings and find shader cache so here you can see shader cache now set you can set this to disabled select disabled over here and then once you select disable uh, here you can type in apply and just click on apply once it is done now you have to restart your computer restart is a must restart your computer and after the system restart uh, you can go to nvidia control panel once again go to manage 3d settings and then shader cache size you can set it to 100 gigabyte so 100 gigabyte again hit apply over here and then you can launch the game and then check if not working in that case you can just still not working in that case you can set the shader cache to driver default so if 100 gigabyte is not working select driver default and then at the bottom right you will see apply hit apply and then restart your computer and then follow the next step now the next step is to delete the content of this uh, th 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 this folder now for this you can go to file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder now find this d3s cache now delete the content of this folder select everything in my case it is already empty select everything and delete it and then find uh, you find this nvidia folder now nvidia and over here you can see dx cache and dx gl cache you can just select everything over here if you want to create a backup uh, if you want you can create a backup of these two folders you can copy this paste to the desktop and then you can delete the content of this folder shift delete click on yes skip and then go back again delete the content of this folder shift delete and then now launch the game and then check restart you can be restart is a must after this Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings. And then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Open this SHF binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on the game. And then select high performance over here and do the same thing with the first exe file select high performance and then launch the game next step is to disable or enable the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings and it, click on advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on launch the game and then check if that does not work if this is already on you're facing the problem you can turn this off launch the game and then check try both on and off the next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working uh, once you select your graphic card your operating system on this page you can click on sh uh, show more ver versions so scroll down over here you can see view more versions click on it and maybe you can install uh, the previous one maybe 581.15 maybe 581.08 but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then you can check the next step is to try power saver mode so type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound and then click on power options over here 
and over here in my case I have only balanced if you see power saver you can select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even go for balanced and high performance but first of all try power saver launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual C++ file for this copy this uh, you can just search in Google install visual C++ file and then go to Microsoft website here you can see visual studio files so you have to download this x86 and run this exe file click on yes to allow click on repair if you see repair click on install if you see install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once both are installed then restart you can build and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this you can go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios after the bios update log into the computer and then check next is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable or enable steam overlay now you can go to steam first of all go to steam over here and then go to settings go to in game and make sure enable the steam overlay while in game if this make sure this is on and then make a right click on the game and then select properties if this is off turn it on launch the game and then check if this is already on turn it off and then launch the game and then check next step is to close all the other overlay application like if you have discord running yeah, in discord settings you can turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running uh, you can go to nvidia app settings and turn off overlay do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi after burner reward tuner if you have any kind of overclocking application running obs running any kind of third party application or services running close it if you have undervolted you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different right so if nothing is working make a right click on the games select manage click on uninstall after the uninstall restart you can be there and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel